If you don't know who Jack Dorsey is, you're lucky. But if you do know who he is, you're also lucky because, well, he's in some serious, serious life-changing trouble. This is the most obnoxious live streamer, and he's currently in some serious legal trouble, so much so that it can change his life the way he knows it. And it seems like this is going to be a massive wake-up call for this guy, because... I hope it's not a wake-up call for him. I hope he suffers, and then I hope he does even worse and gets even more punished. I'm gonna be real. I, I completely wish all the worst. If you want to know how bad the IRL live streaming landscape has become, you don't have to look further than Jack Doherty. Jack is now considered one of the largest streamers on Kick, despite plenty of botting allegations. He's built this like cult-like audience off of harassing people in public. If you if you're a streamer and you don't bot, are you even trying? And that's not a joke. Constant OF women plastered all over the stream, and essentially anyone that he can bring on for. That's how he makes money, by the way. No, seriously, this is actually how he makes money. He has all this clout that he uses to attract these women, and then he signs deals with them that he will promote them to do OF, and then they have to pay him. Yeah, it's actually a pretty smart business move, not gonna lie. But yeah, but you didn't expect that one. Cloud. His audience have this like weird relationship with him because so many people hate watch him. And this is likely because he's probably one of the worst offenders of main character syndrome when he uses random people True. without their consent for his own content. And this can range from egging them on before hiding behind a security guard when they react to hiring a security guard to straight up knock people out during his streams. I there there was allegations that this guy who got knocked out is suing him. Because the clip is pretty clear. The, the security guard just punches him. For no reason at all. And, well, you can't... I, I don't know if you can sue the security guard separately. Uh, but you definitely can sue Jack Dorsey for that. Because, well, he's his boss. And that latter part just got him sued as he proudly distributed that clip all over the internet just for a little bit more attention. But he wasn't always like this. He started essentially stalking popular creators on YouTube. With one of his first popular... I mean, to be fair, that's not a lot better. Their videos being going to the FaZe house, I saw FaZe rain. Here you can see this innocent kid trying to make content on YouTube in the worst way possible. I just want to say thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. It really By the way, this is what happens when your parents are rich and you have absolutely no concept of money and you are allowed to do everything and you know there's no limitation to anything because your parents literally do not care what you do they're just gonna bail you out this is what bad parenting especially bad rich parenting turns into it really means a lot that you guys are watching my videos and liking them. And I guess in his pursuit of making interesting content, I guess he now convinced his parents to drive him to the FaZe house, which is terrible parenting. Don't ever do that to any creator, no matter what. Like, if you want to meet a creator, go to an event they publicly announce they're going to, or be lucky enough to meet them in public. Please don't stalk them, and especially do not show up uninvited to a streamer or creator's house to make content. And here, I mean, Jack's a child, so I completely blame the parents for this. But we're also about to find out that Jack just completely walks all over his parents. And I was shocked his parents let them do this to begin with. Oh my god. Oh, they have a doorbell. Oh my god, dude. So when they don't answer for obvious reasons, they stay lingering. I, I, I'm here, I'm here. My mom's gonna be pissed. Holy crap, I really- Bro, you can already tell that this kid has absolutely no limits. You want them to come out? Why are all the lights behind? They're obviously home. I want them to come out so freaking badly. But it just continues. They don't give up for some reason. Hey, I want them to come out. Bruh, okay? He He's putting emphasis on the fact that he wants it. That means he must get it. That is already, uh, j just the way he says, proves that he is spoiled out of his mind. And they've been there for probably like 30 minutes to an hour at this point. Yeah, we need them to come out. Yo, Jeep, no, man. No, I, he can't be making video. No, we're here. He's not making video. Well, I guess his entitlement's been there since he started making videos. But then Rain eventually comes home. Rain. 
Yeah, Audi RX. Holy crap. No, he just drives off, off, yeah. Mom, no, rain. <laughs> he's turning around. Mom, he's coming. He's coming back. He's coming back. Okay, he's going to come back. He's going to come back. That's them. His mom is blocking their driveway. He can't get into his own house. What a literal nightmare. But anyway, eventually the mom... I mean... <laughs> moves and lets rain into the garage rain and then shut the garage as quickly as possible and then jack just continues to stand outside with his friend and bang on the garage door and the front door without anyone showing up naturally they don't want to interact with someone who randomly shows up uninvited like it just doesn't make sense but i guess the wildest part of this is he just goes home after i guess doxing them even though their address was semi-public because they just weren't careful about showing where they lived because i mean the original face house that was a big live and learn for a lot of creators because they just were not careful about hiding where they lived. But I'm also surprised his parents didn't think it was a bad idea to let alone drive him to a random creator's house to essentially just harass them for YouTube content. But also they, they probably saw the video and they just let him post this video to the internet. But this video got some views because it was the FaZe house, but he later on pivots to making insufferable pranks. The kind where you just harass random people and retail workers for content. And by consistently posting these on YouTube, he created a pretty sizable career. His parents then invested that money into real estate for him and this made them a little bit more supportive of his content because I mean he was essentially providing liquidity for the family's real estate investments. This becomes extremely apparent when he goes on to Dr. Phil where they then bring up the fact that he stole his older brother's car for a YouTube prank. In the moment it was I, it was not that funny. That was your new car right? Mm -hmm. Daddy bought it. Yeah and also he, I, he has a brother? Huh, I had no idea. I thought he was going to crash or something, and also I, I think he was just trying to... If I crash a car, I'd buy a new one, let's be real. It's moments like this where you realize acquiring money at a young age can completely fry your brain. He clearly doesn't care about his brother's feelings nor things because he thinks he can just buy himself out of whatever problem he creates. The YouTuber... On point! I was going to say that. That's another classic problem. The fact that you think that you can just buy yourself out. Ever watched Free Run? Oh yeah? The, the best elf waifu girl? You know, that one? The episode where they, uh, you know, leave that demon child to survive and then it just ends up doing what you expect it's gonna end up doing. Essentially, one for one, the same thing. Jabroni actually made a wonderful video where he showcases many of the moments Jack has just completely bailed himself out of his problems with money. And I'll link that video in the description down below. It works below but he ended up getting kicked off dr phil for talking over the guy he went home and then continued making insufferable pranks like throwing paint on the walmart floor paint smashing about to go down in walmart right now no no <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Epic prank. Like and subscribe so a Walmart employee can clean up the aftermath for our content. But he likely got a Walmart employee fired because of his antics in Walmart. Don't record me. No, give me my camera back. Don't go. That's not camera. Huh? Uh, look at that. It's an old dude. Nice. Hope he didn't get fired though. Please. Give me my camera. You don't record me. I was not recording you. Yes, you were. It was not going. I have no idea what just happened. Give me my camera. At this moment must have left off a long lasting impression on Jack, as it seems like there were actually repercussions for his actions. So in the future, I guess he learned from this and hired. Hell no. He he understood that sometimes things don't go his way, but that's not allowed most likely. So he needs to make it that it always goes his way. Add bodyguards so he can keep harassing people and avoid being confronted. I don't know what actually happens to this Walmart employee, but Jack did go on to dox the guy and harass him simply because the Walmart employee didn't want to clean up whatever aftermath Jack's content, content created. And while that content was making Jack some solid money, nothing comes close to this money glitch that he found. Because a couple of years ago, he started blowing off off of YouTube Shorts content. And since he had a lot of people watching him, he came to the conclusion that mixing a highly profitable and addictive site like OF in combination of millions of young people seeing his content, that is an absolute money glitch. And this <laughs> is where his accounts started getting absolutely littered with content, which directly promotes OF accounts. Don't talk yep. to the mic and I'll buy you whatever you want. Do you understand the rules of the game? Uh, can you just tell me your name before we get started? Just, just one time? All right, then I'm leaving. Just kidding, you win. Yay! All right, what do you want? I want to go to Soma. Soma these nuts in your mouth? No. No, I'm kidding. What's Soma? Right here. 
All right, let's go. So can I get a free sub to your OF? Yeah, I mean, they're not That's even, a promotion. even hiding what they're doing here. And this got millions of views. And when I originally saw this a little bit over a year ago, I was just assuming they were paying him to promote them. But apparently this guy actually signs these women and promotes them. Yep, again, smart business decision, actually. They're OFs. And I guess this is how he can afford his new insane lifestyle, which includes the security guards who Jack has used as pawns for his content. Go. I love how he's given the Yeah, ring. that's what that, I think everyone has seen that dead. Handle from recess hiding behind the teacher vibe. The same stance and everything down to the T. What a guy. <laughs> but eventually he flew way too close to the sun where this unfortunately happened in one of his streams. Obviously, I cannot show the full clip here, but here's the before. Why are you talking to, dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same y'all same Yo, just stop. And the after. Ooh. So what you guys missed out on was a full-on sucker punch. The dude landed flat on his back and definitely hit his head. That is an extremely dangerous fall, and he is super lucky he wasn't turned into a vegetable because hits like that can easily yep. change the trajectory that's actually through your life and as if things couldn't have gotten even more disgusting the Jack hell just ben happened with my post this on his twitter account to gain more Hello? attention but thankfully he was sued for it and this is apparently for assault battery negligence negligent hiring retention slash supervision slash training aiding and huh, abetting that's strange did they decide to just randomly die off there's no way should be fine now and finally, intentional infliction of emotional distress. So here we have there a guy go. who was punched in the face named Chase, who is now suing them. So here we have the general allegations on October 28th. And I wonder if there's a chance that he can't win this. I, there's always a chance, right? But how realistic is this? Because this should be just one and done, honestly, right? 2023 plaintiff, who is Chase, was attending a Halloween party at approximately 12.30 a.m. in the morning of October 29th. Plaintiff was on the street outside of the subject's premises and was talking to Deherdy and Gosley. Gosley is the security guard who sucker punched him in the face. At one point in the conversation, Gosley asked Deherdy, what are we doing? And Deherdy said, we're going to fight them. Us two versus you. All right, go. And gestured that he and Gosley were going to fight plaintiff and plaintiff's friend. Moments later, Gosley violently punched plaintiff in the face, sending him falling to the ground and causing serious physical injuries to his head, face, and neck. The amount of controversy is greater than $75,000. Plaintiff did not consent to Gosley's conduct. The Herdy live-streamed the assault on plaintiff on the live-streaming platform Kick, and in the hours and days that followed, posted videos of the assault to his YouTube, X.com, and Twitter channels, where he has a combined of 22.8 million followers. The Herdy has and continues to generate income due to the many views the video has received, all to plaintiff detriment. Deherdy has a history both before and after the subject's incident of filming himself harassing, assaulting, and antagonizing members of the public by having his security guards step in to intimidate and assault them if they react to Deherdy's harassment. The following links show various altercations caused by Deherdy. So here's the first 10 second clip the lawsuit shows. Oh, you were the one that came up to me first. No, you're the clown. You got the same that came in. I don't want to be filmed. Okay, well, you can stop looking keep your head down. Go to your room. Dog. And then here's the second mm. one right here get that out of my face or get out of my face or what <laughs> so clearly there's a pattern here gosley has a long mm. history of assault and battery this is the bodyguard here assault and battery in broward county two instances of assault and battery while working as a security guard for the baby here are some of the headlines of those articles the hurdy was the aware of gosley's prior assault and Damn battery boys. while working for I mean, it does make a lot of sense, right? The baby and ratified Gosley's assault and battery of a plaintiff by paying him five thousand dollars. The following link depicts the above. Yeah, he's the baby security guard. Yeah, he, he used to knew who he was. My dog. You met him before, King? Yeah, but I don't like. Dude, the name the baby. I ne I I never get it. Also, is the baby poor now? Please tell me he is. Like every uh, every one of these useless rappers that had roughly two months of fame and then someone remembers their name for some stupid reason i completely don't understand how it works now in the usa all these rappers are poor right all of them because they they don't have more fame than like a month or two 
And, well, when you're a beginner rapper, your deals are not exactly gonna be, Oh, oh, you take all the money. No, the, the record labels, the labels, the producers, all of those people are gonna take the majority of that money. So, I completely... Un so, this is kind of a strange effect that happens, right? You got ex-celebrities that are completely washed up useless now on... And probably right there on the br uh, brink of c a complete uh, financial fallout, right? So they want to use their small existing cloud that they have to get, uh, go on streams with uh, guys like this and hope that people are going to pay attention to them yet again, which typically never works out. Uh, Aiden Ross, what was the guy who scammed him in cards? Well, what was his 23 savage 21 savage something savage okay that guy yeah again all of them are broke that guy probably didn't even have uh they've been on like 200 300 400k or something bro that guy probably didn't even have money to give if he lost that bet that's crazy stuff like this stuff like this seems super common all, all these all these people who are washed up are just trying to constantly do this. There was a good story about... Was it Jack Dorsey also? There was a really good story about... Some kind of rapper who got paid like a million or two... To essentially just show up for five minutes. He drove around in a guy's car and just dipped out instantaneously. Bro. <laughs> I... You, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. It's just clown versus clown. It's hilarious. I can see Kane get in that mode because, bro, Kane, when he in that mode... Can't talk to Kane Ron. No, bro, listen. But you, the hell is a Kane Ron? Put him in that position. So when the baby them hit me up and I'm like, yo, what's up with this kid? Bro, you got Kane knocking people out. We, we want to protect Kane. Still open? That's a part of gang. You got to take care of your people. No I did it. <laughs> Now he's just gaslighting this moron. That's good. You gotta protect your people. Okay? Boys, listen. All that hood shit about loyalty protection, if you buy into that garbage, you're just an idiot, okay? The moment loyalty stops being productive or useful, guess what? It ends. All of that is absolute bull. I sent them like five bands that day and then said, you can go home and Bro, but it is, it's not about the money. Uh, but it was to him. That's what he said. No. I made it right with him. It ain't about the money, bro. This guy makes a lot of money. That's what I'm trying to teach you. That is so wild. His security guard just sucker punches the guy. And instead of firing the guy, Jack's like, here's $5,000. Have the day off. You did a great job, man. I mean... Did, did you honestly expect anything else to happen there? Did you really, really did did you expect him to think that that's bad? I think anything that uh, that gets done in the name of Jack Dorsey, by default, he considers a good thing because how can he do wrong? Is the obvious thing here, right? It's kind of crazy. Well, obviously, it's kind of crazy, right? And. Bro. Well, they then make their case, which I'm not gonna read 10 pages of legal documents here. So essentially what they want from this- They're probably gonna settle, that's the sad part here. They're probably gonna settle and it's probably not even gonna be a million. Well, maybe a million, who honestly knows? Like, I'm just speaking blindly here, I have no idea how much money you can expect to get these- uh, get, uh, get in these situations. I mean, Alex Jones is paying more than the GDKP of France and his whatever thing so you know uh court systems kind of wild and completely unhinged this lawsuit is in the prayer for relief where it says wherefore plaintiff prays judgment against all defendants as follows one for general damages and some according to proof of time of trial two for special damages and some according to proof of time of trial three for punitive damages four for pre-judgment interest according to proof five for cost of suit incurred herein according to proof six yeah, this is normal. For such other and further relief as court may deem just and proper. Insane. Okay. I mean, so there's the chance that considering they uh, they they are showing that, hey, this is not like a separate one-off thing, that this kid is literally doing this constantly over and over and over again with other people, that 
they're essentially kind of trying to play this game. They're, they're saying that, hey, everyone's trying to do this. By the way, by the way, I actually thought about this. That it, it technically could be an easy way to just uh, make free money, right? You find out where Jack Dorsey is. And, well, you just go and yell at him. And when there's a security guard, uh, you know, s s uh, s says something about it, you just, you know, uh, yell at him until he loses patience and hits you. Because he obviously definitely will. That security guard... Do you think that... So the trick here is that security guard obviously likes hurting people. And he's not going to shy away from a chance to actually, you know inflict physical pain on someone so if someone just yells at them constantly he's probably gonna do it and remember it doesn't matter what is being said physical contact is different okay someone says bad word to you that doesn't justify you getting in a physical altercation with someone so i'm surprised that no one is actually using uh using this chance and trying to milk jack dorsey because he's going to be responsible for it always. It doesn't matter what you say against uh, against them or whatever. It's just, you know, free money. Same. Okay. This is definitely going to get really expensive for Jack. And if they prove this in court, next up would probably be criminal charges. Then on top of that, if this guy wins his lawsuit against Jack, that could... E criminal charges, yeah. It's assault. Easily inspire others. But shouldn't, couldn't, didn't hey, they have the ability to press criminal charges before all this? There's to follow suit. I mean, it's just laughably stupid that Jack willingly bragged about this event happening just to promote himself when this could very- Obviously he did. Very well ruin his life as he knows it. But I mean, hey, it could be a whole lot worse because I guess you could be like uh, this- You know what gives me hope in these situations? It's the fact that these people do it for ego. It, it's literally dead life. And they are, they are the main character at the end of the day. Definitely for their lives, they 100% are. At some point, Jack Dorsey is going to become irrelevant. And then he's going to hit the wall like everyone who does these things do. He's going to have no friends because no one actually likes him. They're all just there for the free money, clout and whatever. It's like I said about Aiden Ross. If you look at Aiden Ross, his life is going to just end up in an absolute... Hindenburg disaster type of situation because Aiden Ross is already the guy who has money and you know was in you know second grade trying to buy people to be their friends uh, because they he bought them snacks or sodas or whatever that's the guy uh, that's the kind of people we're dealing with so their future is gonna end up really sad that makes me pretty happy this girl who is doing the exact same job as Anyway, we have seen this. Anyway, that's it. That was a toesy. Here it is. You see that? It, he he is a toe, but Z. Makes sense. Anyway, this was Chris Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Haven't already and have a nice day. Bye bye.